hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's been a few days since the passing of mafia falabi and we believe by now we would have stopped talking about him allow him to rest and be with his maker but once you are a public figure there is always more to what people have to say and now we started off with Murphy not being a Muslim, being a traditionalist, having to play the role of a traditionalist. And down to now calling out those who hold Murphy Afolabi money. And the highlight of it was at the eight day Fridal prayers of Murphy Afolabi, which was well attended by his colleagues, family and friends. The clerics were there soliciting for funds for the children of Murphy Afolabi. And this particular cleric specifically went ahead to mention one of Murphy Afolabi's colleagues' name, who is Adunia Ade. Stating emphatically that Adunia Ade is actually owing Murphy Afolabi 150,000 Naira. Afterwards, he said it is 250,000 Naira. And the painful part of all of this announcement was that it was only Adunia Ade's name that was mentioned in this. Hence, it was quite specific. And people are wondering, where would you call someone out like that it's not a situation of you reaching out to the person and the person refusing to pay the money you didn't reach out to adunia day she didn't tell you she was not going to pay the money she didn't give her own side of the story and let everyone understand okay this was how we went about this transaction and how mafia for lapis money got into my hands people would rather have things their way this cleric was quite specific, mentioning only Adonia Day's name and putting every other person's name in this category as others, which is Adonia Day and other people who are owing Mafia Falabi should please come forward and pay his money. <laughs> committee. <laughs> Now, a lot of people have tagged Adinia Day. A lot of people, fans, followers on social media have all come out to say, Why would you? make this kind of statement it seems as though you guys have something against this actress to have specifically called out her name there are several other people who owe him money also obviously mafia falabin's phone has been gone through chats and so many other things it would have been seen that some people are owing him money so why mention adunia day's name only well adunia day who of course isn't going to let anyone stop her shine anyone tarnish her image or anyone put out something terrible about her went straight out to release statement explaining how Mafia Falabi's 150,000 Naira money got into her hand. She explained that she received the money from Mofi after he said he wanted to do a personal production, which he wasn't financially buoyant for. She went out to ask him how many scenes you will be playing. He responded by saying 10. And Adonia Day saying respectfully that she had to accept this because of the cordial relationship they share. Eventually, the production didn't hold, and she said she wanted to send Murphy's money back. But Mafia Falabi insisted she holds on to the money. Maybe they will have something else to work on later in the future. This was in 2021. It wasn't a recent production. Explaining further, Adonia he said that Murphy reached out to her again later that year. Apparently, she lost her younger brother in 2021, and she had to fly down to the United States to perform a sisterly duty and she asked once again for mafia falabi's account details to return the money but mafia declined which she held on to the money and afterwards another production came along where adonia they said she had to decline offer because mafia was insisting on using the one fifty thousand that was with her 
for that particular sin as she said it's not going to work and asked for account number to do a refund which didn't happen up until this very moment and it was stated emphatically that that it was just a hundred and fifty thousand naira. she went ahead to share a bank statement where the date the time and everything when mafia falabi sent the money was on a bank statement sharing this and responding to all the noise on social media the agency she works with shared this in a statement and she reposted it and it says and i quote may the soul of mafia falabi rest in peace a public statement by adonia day to set the record straight on behalf of popular nollywood actor and content creator the unassuming adonia Diwali, aka adonia day we write to set the record straight regarding a video making rounds which our client was called out by a Muslim cleric with claims of her owing the late actor slash producer, Mr. Mafia Falabi. The allegation is false. First, in the words of Adunyadi, this isn't the time for anyone to slander others or say things that will impinge negatively on the memory of a man I treated with honor and respect. Let us all respect the dead. I never cheated him in his lifetime, nor would I ever cheat him or anyone in the afterlife. May his soul rest in peace. Our firm hereby states for the record in the words of Adunyadi, and I quote, Sometimes in July 2021, the late Mr. Murphy Afolabi reached out to me requiring my service for a movie production he appealed to me stating that it was a self-funded production that he couldn't afford my professional fee but that he would need my moral support i asked how many scenes and duration expected of me on set he said 10 scenes and that i would spend one day he offered to fill my car an honorarium which payment was made on 2nd july 2021 for 150,000 naira. Unfortunately, on 11th July 2021, shortly before the commencement of the production, I lost my younger brother. I contacted Mr. Mafia Falabi a few days afterwards to request for his bank account details to send him a refund as I would be traveling to the United States for my younger brother's funeral and to spend time with the rest of my family. He insisted I held on to the money while he figured out whether to move the shoot forward or contact me for another one. I returned to Lagos end of September 2021 and waited for his call. Mr. Mafia Falabi contacted me on 8 October 2021 and said he wanted to start a new job soon and needed me for four days, playing the lead bought for the same amount of 150000 which he paid in July. I respectfully declined, requested for his bank account details and transferred to his bank account the full refund of 150 on the same day 8 october 2021 proof of both payments are attached in this post we thank all those who have been sending solidarity messages to adunia day signed mrs adiremi adelaya and quote this was adunia day releasing this statement to everyone letting everyone know and clarifying herself with a bank account details letting everyone see clearly and plainly that she's not owing the dead any money and she won't say anything about dead or say anything to anyone at all and this is one of the best ways to handle situations like this a public figure to whom much is given much is expected like some other celebrities who would have taken to their various social media pages to call out the cleric call the cleric names swear on behalf of every other person and escalate the matter but adunia decided to keep calm and go about it in a professional manner well guys what's your opinion on this do not forget to like subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye